Sushi is not something Japanese people enjoy every day at home. At least for me, that's rather occasionally enjoyed at sushi restaurant when I'm in the mood to splurge or like when I celebrate something. However, we do have a popular home cooked traditional sushi which I used to enjoy with my great grandma that is called Inari Sushi in Japanese. I'm very excited to share it with you today. First, we begin by preparing a sushi wrapper. We're gonna use this thin fried tofu called aburage in Japanese. Place the thin fried tofu on a cutting board. Place a single chopstick over the fried tofu, then roll around from one side to the other by pressing. Later on, we're gonna stuff the sushi rice inside, so this simple step will allow us to open the tofu wrapper more easily. By the way, when I was living in UK, I found fried tofu in a frozen section of Asian supermarket. Do you guys have this aburage in your area? Please share where to find your area in your country in the comment section so that we can all enjoy this together. Cut the aburage in half and put your finger into the cut to open the tofu carefully. Just a heads up, this inari sushi can be easily made plant-based and also I have another video showing how to throw a vegan sushi party at home. So let me leave the link for you in the description box. As you can see, this abrage is a bit greasy because it's been deep fried. So to remove the excess oil, pour boiling hot water over it. Let it cool down and squeeze out the water carefully. Be careful, it's extremely hot. <laughs> now it's time to season this abrage. To a pot, add water, soy sauce, mirin, rice wine, and sugar. The exact measurement is listed on my blog. The link is in the description box. Place the abrage to the pot, then bring it to the stove. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to simmer and cook it until all the liquid is gone. In the meantime, we're gonna whip up some sushi rice. Rinse Japanese sushi sticky rice and drain the water a couple of times. Soak the rice in water for one hour. Cook it in the rice cooker. I did equal parts of water and rice. If your rice turns out to be a bit more dry than usual, you are on the right track. We're gonna drizzle the vinegar mixture so that the rice should not be too mushy at this point. If you want to know how to make rice in a pot, it's in my breakfast cookbook. Please check it out for more inspirations. To the mixing bowl, add salt, sugar, and rice vinegar. I recommend the rice vinegar, but you can use apple cider vinegar too. Mix it until the sugar and salt are dissolved. When the rice is still steaming hot, drizzle vinegar mixture over the rice then mix. It is important that the rice is still very hot so that the vinegar will penetrate into the rice grain. Get your family, friends into the action. It's such a fun activity. When the rice is cooled, cover it with a kitchen cloth. It will prevent the rice from getting dry. Back to the abrage. Now the liquid has evaporated and the abrage becomes so juicy and flavorful. Off the heat and let it cool down. When it comes to filling, each family has their own recipe. For example, my mom always mixes hijiki seaweed into the rice. You could just stuff the sushi rice inside of the seasoned aburage. It is still gonna be flavorful, but I love to add something extra to make it more fun with the crunchy cucumber and sesame seeds. Thinly slice cucumber and sprinkle some salt.
Give it a good massage until the cucumber starts to sweat. Leave it for 5 minutes. Squeeze the excess liquid to keep the crunchy texture. If I'm not making it for kids, I would add minced ginger or fresh herbs like shiso leaves to make it more refreshing. So feel free to be creative on this. Add cucumber into the sushi rice together with the tossed sesame seeds. Mix them together. At this point, aburage should be cool enough to handle. Wet your hand and make a small ball. Gently open the aburage and stuff the rice into it. Be careful, it's easy to be torn. Garnish some shredded shiso leaves along with kinshi tamago. Kinshi tamago is an egg omelette cut into strips. I'll show you how I did it in the next video, so stay tuned. I asked my kids to make a flower shaped carrot. <laughs> ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ。ギュッ
Let me know in the comment section below. I guess that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye, matane. Enjoy sushi at home. <laughs>